Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Recently, many people are interested in using MacBook to run Huiyuan video. I have some great news. So it is indeed able to run Huiyuan using Comfy UI on MacBook. I will quickly go through it. Make sure that if you are following this video, make sure you grab the workflow I uploaded to my GitHub repo. It is all you need. However, there is one catch. You will need a, a bigger RAM to be able to run it. I'm using my machine, which had a 36 gigabytes of RAM. If you have a bigger machine, that's great. If you not, you can still try it, but uh, I'm not sure how fast it can be. As usual, start your Comfy UI server. Make sure that uh, it's up to date. And uh, go to the server address on your web browser. Then please uh, grab uh, the workflow from my GitHub repo and uh, drag it onto the browser. It will show up. I have added uh, the detailed uh, instruction about uh, the model download. So make sure that you can download those model. Some of them are pretty big, about uh, 16 gigabytes. For this workflow, it's very similar to the previous one I used uh, for the AMD Huiyuan video, but I will need uh, to like do a little bit of uh, tricks to make it uh, run faster on MacBook. Otherwise, it may take uh, like at least uh, one hour for one small video. So, so this trick is uh, called uh, the Huiyuan video fast video. If you are not familiar with it. So there is a very awesome project called Fast Video. So they adapt their methodology to the Huiyuan. And uh, the results is quite amazing. So basically, they can provide a distilled version so make it really, really fast. So for example, for Huiyuan, you would need like 20 steps. However, you were able to decrease it to step eight. For the checkpoints download, please go to the Hugging Face. There is a Kijai Huiyuan video comfy UI. There is a Huiyuan video fast video. So this one, this FPH format, about 13.2 gigabytes. And you can directly download that. Another tip for running Huiyuan on Mac is to have a large disk space and also please close all those applications if you don't need them. For example, if you have Google Chrome, you definitely need to close it to save RAM for Huiyuan. The question is how fast it is able to run on my machine. Here is a screenshot I did previously. So as you can see, I use the six step. So it took uh, 16 minutes for that. Total time is uh, 1580 seconds to generate uh, one, one video. In terms of the RAM, I think I should use uh, like 21 gigabytes of the swap. It's really, really high. While it's doing the inferencing, it should use the up to 95% of the RAM, as you can see here. So this one is the running here. It's uh, unfortunately, it's uh, kind of slow. However, it is able to run. I think that's a bigger deal. I am expecting that it can, can really uh, improve significantly in the coming days. Yeah, let's uh, hope for that. Hope uh, you were able to do it if you have a good machine. If not, I think you can wait for a few weeks or a few months. I think eventually it's able to run it. If you are not able to run Huiyuan, one suggestion is to run the LTX video. It's very, very fast, even on MacBook. I highly recommend it. I also had a video about the LTX video. Please check it out. 
Thank you very much. If you find it, the video useful, please uh, subscribe to it, thumb up it, and uh, share it. Thank you for your support. See you next time. Goodbye.